Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong says Singapore is determined to keep its green lungs and natural spaces as the city develops, even though it cannot preserve every single green area. At the opening of the Botanic Gardens Heritage Museum, Mr Lee announced that a new Tenga Nature Way will be launched next year. It will be Singapore's fifth nature way and at nearly 13 kilometres will be its longest. 50 years of greening Singapore, and at the Botanic Gardens, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong planted the final tree in a year-long series of activities to commemorate the milestone. Mr Lee also assured that despite development, people can always be in touch with nature. The next piece will be to launch a Tengah Nature Way, which will connect up the Bukit Timah and Central Catchment Reserves with a safety life fighting area, so that the animals can go across and the people can walk along the route too. And we will choose a plant specially to complement the natural forests on both sides. And we will make a special effort to attract birds, butterflies and other animals so that we can all enjoy nature at our doorsteps. The Tengah Nature Way will run along Bukit Bato Estate. It will pass through Bukit Bato West Avenue 2, 3 and 5 until Old Jurong Road. The National Parks Board aims to create over 60 kilometres of nature ways by 2015. One of the major challenges, of course, of realising the city in the garden vision is, is space. Space is limited in Singapore, so I think we've got to be very innovative about how we go about things to, for example, uh, park connectors, uh, make use of uh, greater space to give an illusion of, of space. Mr Lee also opened the Singapore Botanic Gardens Heritage Museum. He said it's important to preserve the gardens as part of the country's heritage. The Singapore Botanic Gardens Heritage Museum features interactive panels and exhibits. Here, visitors can learn the rich history of the 154-year-old gardens and Singapore's greening journey over the last five decades. Nature volunteers were also given recognition for their commitment. I lead a small group of people on a nature walk, for example, uh, Sungai Buro, Chek Jawa, even a botanic garden. And along the walk, I will introduce to them the animal and the plants that uh, we come across, share with them now, what happened, uh, the, about, about the balance of the nature and the importance of the nature. And Park says it has seen a growing interest in nature volunteers. To date, there are more than 1,000 active volunteers, 25% more than last year.